All right, so hey, let's talk weather. We're enjoying a cool down coming our way. Nothing very cool about July in Kern County, right? But this low pressure system does mean a drop in temperatures and fresh air. We love all of those words, right? 72 right now, two degrees cooler than yesterday. You see it's perfectly clear, but later this afternoon, we're expecting some high thin clouds to come through. No rain in those clouds and the monsoonal moisture is staying off to our east for the next couple days as that low comes on shore. And you see by Thursday, this is our coolest day as we sit here in the trough, meaning what Westerly winds and still some pretty clear skies and calm conditions. But then as that low pressure system is on shore over Northern California into Nevada, very slowly heading into the weekend, it helps to draw up this monsoonal moisture into the Four Corners region. Does it get this close to Kern County? Ugh, it's still there. We have to watch. So we will see some thunderstorms into the desert. Does it get into our local desert? Can it then build up in our local mountains? That's what we're watching for the weekend, but it doesn't look like it has enough oomph to spill over to the valley. So I'll introduce some high clouds this weekend, keep temperatures down, but possibly a little humid on Saturday and then high pressure start setting up early next week. And that means a return to a long stretch of dry 100s. But at least it's not 105 or higher that may be happening next weekend, but that's way out a week and a half away. We'll worry about that when we get to it right now. We're concerned about the potential for the monsoon. Again, I'll just introduce some high clouds for our mountain communities. Keep those temperatures down a bit, but the 90s for the Kern River Valley and the 80s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park is seasonal for this time of year. I won't put rain chances in just yet, but we'll watch it. And then early next week, we'll get hotter up there as well. All right, now let's talk traffic with CHP officer Robert Rodriguez and your latest on the Tuesday morning commute. Hey,